Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, gentlemen and ladies and uh, ladies and gents. I just wanted to bring something to y'all's attention. I hope y'all can handle it. Um, so far, and we have to say this with certainty, but there is still a fight ahead. All of the people that we have been helping with regards to their foreclosure are still in their home. Although there have been some threats about, um, you know, ser uh, selling some property here or there, those threats have not been carried through. The consults I've done with people telling them what they need to do, nobody's contacted me back letting me know what's happened because I don't believe they follow through. I really don't believe they follow through. It's as if they got what they wanted and then decided to either give up or to pursue another course or whatever. I don't know. They haven't contacted me. Ladies and gentlemen, AmeriLegion and AMCF is actively helping individuals with foreclosure. We are getting ready to go into court. We did the administrative enforcement motion, sent it to the court, documented that, got signature confirmation of delivery, and they have not filed it or they have not notified us of filing. So now we're getting ready to sue the court. So just be patient with me because that's what's getting ready to happen. And we will introduce all of our people into that particular suit against those judges and those clerks of the court for interfering with our access to redress. Okay. Whew. Now, this is the incarceration contract where the Supreme Court has held, upheld the state law requiring corporations to include their state of incorporation in their corporate name, including the use of all capital letters. Ladies and gentlemen, that just says that the states could require companies to list their corporation's name in all capital letters. Why do they put corporations' names in all capital letters? Well, pay attention. Delaware Chancery Court held that the state has the right to require corporations' names be in all capital letters as a means of distinguishing them from the names of natural persons. So when you go into court, you have the right to say, I need the record to demonstrate, document that I am distinguished from a corporation, that I am a natural person. Ladies and gentlemen, I, the initial investment was $600 minus $22. So you'll see 578 because of the offset. So 578 and you'll see I lost $12. Say, pay attention, lost some money right there. $11, $12 right there, lost it, just gone. So that means I lost a total of $44 in the exchange. See, pay attention, 43. <sighs> Actually, that's 33. Either way, we're back up to this today. It'll be changed when I hit that button later. So that's just me letting you know. I'm going to speak this, and then we're going to do another video later on this. But starting this Friday, there will be an email address for you guys to contact if you want to be a part of the next group, which will start next Monday. You'll have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in order to ask to be a part. Some of you haven't followed instructions. We told you what a particular email address was for. And some of you have been asking to be put on a waiting list. Nobody has even given you permission to do that. We're looking for people who are going to follow instructions. If you miss a deadline, don't sit up there and beg and ask somebody to let you be a part of it. This is not my show. I'm not running this. My job is to make sure the people I bring in know how to listen. I'm going to tell you, we started out with 80 people. <laughs> Whew, 30 of them are gone already. I just need y'all to pay attention to that. Because they couldn't follow instructions. Some of them are gone because they just couldn't do it right now. And then we have some people who simply didn't have the funds to put in the account. Told you if you don't have it to just dispose of right now, because I'm not touching this. Why? Because 
this is for the company, first of all, but I don't need this funds. I told you, I'm not counting this as income right now. You have to wait about two to three months before you can start tapping into this and putting it back in your pocket because you need it to keep earnings for you. Yesterday was, pay attention, yesterday. Pay attention. That's how much money was earned yesterday. $13, just for nothing, just sitting around doing nothing. The day before that, $20. <sighs> so understand, on average, because of the amount I had in, it's definitely averaging 11 to $13 a day. Okay, at the end of the month, it's $100. This is 10 days, ladies and gentlemen, and it's already $100 in 10 days. There are 30 days, so that's $300 this month is what this is looking to project. I ain't got no problem with that. Okay, I understand the system. I understand how it works. Can can I get got? I don't know. Can somebody just come in and take all my money? It'll be theft because the this company doesn't have access. Okay, so enough about that. Uh, I was gonna take y'all someplace and show y'all something. That's why I clicked on that. So I apologize. Now I don't forgot. I don't. I didn't, 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 didn't forgot what I was gonna be doing with y'all. But I do have to tell y'all. In this particular video, the incarceration contract, I went ahead and did some edits this morning. Uh, no major edits, but I did highlight there's a section where it says man. So all the section where it says man, you're to put woe man if you are not a just a simple man. And if you got that gen alteration, you know, all of that stuff, that ain't got nothing to do with it, people. This is not that type of document. Just fill it out. Okay, follow the instructions, people. Here are the instructions. Remember, any writing in red in this document, with the exception of the follow and demand, and that number right there, you will amend. You will amend that. You will leave follow and demand alone. And remove the instructions section. Any section telling you what you're supposed to do, like this red section, you'll remove that before filing it. Many of you are just going to take the document and you're just going to file it. Ooh, doggy! I don't understand it, but that's what many of y'all going to do. All right. Getting back to the contracts. We have this contract, and hold on. Let me show y'all. We're going to talk about what y'all's going to do with it. I went to the wrong one. I was supposed to be going up here. Come on now. That's what I'm looking for. I look for child support. Man, I need some support, okay? God bless the child. I need some support. You know what I'm saying? I want you to understand this notice of change in terms of agreement notice is made by and between the child support agency health and human services and the state you insert the state name collectively referred to as party one and john doe and jane doe john doe and jane doe is where you put your name respectively referred to as party two you and your wife can do this even if y'all are estranged because y'all both gets to get paid Whereas the parties have entered into a previous agreement regarding parental rights and custody as well as, oh, by the way, you don't have to be involved with the child support agency to do this. This is anybody with children, people. I'm sorry I never explained that. Man, there's been so much going on. Ladies and gentlemen, all of your children, as long as you have a birth certificate for your child, you've created as an adult a contract with government. There are obligations, rules, requirements that come with that certificate of live birth. That's why the state receives money for every child and woman in the state. We've already shown you that with the Social Security Act. Hold on. Cause I was coming. Hold on. Cause I was coming. Okay. SSA. T I T L E FO Title FO, y'all. S E C T I O N 501 Levi's Jeans. Just that simple. 501. That section we're going to. Now, this is Gibberu. Gibberu. And at Gibberu, 
Yeah, this is it right here. <sighs> to improve the health of mothers and children consistent with applicable health status, goals, and national health objectives established by the Secretary under the Public Health Service Act. For the year 2000, there be authorized an appropriation of $850 million for the fiscal year 2001 and each fiscal year thereafter. What is this for? It's for the purposes of enabling each state to provide and assure mothers and children, particularly those of low income and limited ability of health services, to qualify maternal and child health services to reduce mortality they can say whatever they want it to say they're trying to do there's no law that gives them the right to do this they're supposed to provide for the general welfare but what they did ladies and gentlemen is they took custody what nothing from nothing leaves nothing ain't nobody giving 850 million dollars throughout the entire united states now hold on they didn't say that they were doing this just for one state. They didn't say that. Y'all need to pay attention. They did not say they were doing it for one state. They say it for the men and women in each state. I don't know if this covers all the states. But $850 million, hoo-wee, for every year thereafter? Mm, 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 mm. What y'all going to do? Well, what I would do is I would send this to them and let them know, hey, guys, uh, those are my children. That's my property. Yes, people are property. Okay? People are property. But here is, no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, our property without due process of law. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fifth Amendment, I don't like the Fourteenth Amendment, okay? Um, this is a case that involves Wyoming, and this is what they said, and so I'm going to leave that there. I don't like the Fourteenth Amendment. We're not saying the Fourteenth Amendment. It's just we're saying what the court said, that you should not be deprived of your property or your life without due process of law. One of the basic elements of due process is the right of each party to be apprised of all the evidence upon which the issue is to be decided. But they withhold evidence from you. In every case, they withhold evidence. We have cases where prosecutors withhold evidence and the court ignores the withholding of evidence. Happens in every case. Sorry. Now, Pay attention. Whereas the parties have entered into an agreement that may be affected by their by these constitutional limitations, the American Bar Association's website is correct as the language used on a birth certificate and its use as evidence of a contractual relationship is indeed a matter of fact. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't write that. This is what the Attorney General wrote. And the American Bar Association has agreed with it and may vary depending on jurisdiction and specific circumstances involved. So a birth certificate is evidence of a contractual relationship. So you have the right to do a notice of change in terms of agreement of contract. That's what this is about. And here's a coupon under UNCITRAL. This is a bill of exchange for UNCITRAL. Like I said, every section is fillable. So you just got to click and fill it in. You don't have to change any of this. This is none of your business. Leave us alone. You don't have to add anything else. You don't have to add any of that other language or any of the cases or any of the laws. Some of you guys are going to be, you're going to do things like that. You have to put this number here. What is the bill of exchange number? That's a number you create. It's a serial number that you create. Make sure it's at least 16 digits in length. Okay, really that simple. I can't stay on this video too much longer, ladies and gentlemen. I have a uh, consult I have to do in a couple of minutes. But this, these cases right here is to let you know about your right to use this. 
So nobody can sit up there and say you're doing something fraudulent. That's why you put that in there. Pay attention. The notes in question are issued under the authority of the Federal Intermediate Credit Bank Act as amended, which authorized the Federal Intermediate Credit Bank to issue their own notes. Well, you are a bank. If that bank got to issue their own notes, you get to issue your own too. Shh, don't tell nobody. It's a secret. Now, this part right here. That gap was a little too much. That part right there, and let's see, we got another gap right here. Well, we're going to, you know what? Let's do that. All right. I got to I gotta make sure uniformity. Okay, see that gap? Even though some people say, no, that looks all right. I don't like it that way. That's too much of a gap. Okay? Too much of a gap. Fall into the gap. Okay, too much of a gap. Anyway, see, there wasn't a gap there. I didn't change that. But there's another gap here. I'm going to take care of that gap because it's got the Roman numeral. Let's see. Let's do something. We're going to slide this over. No, we can't slide it over. See that paragraph, how the indent is? So we can't slide it over. Ha ha. Can't slide it over. Trying to get over. Ah, 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 ah. Super fly. That's my phone ringing, y'all. That's the person who helped me edit this, so I gotta go. See y'all in a second. We gonna get this out to y'all. One second. Give me one second. I'm talking to these people on video. I gotta hang them up now. So give me one second. 